So we haven't checked in with the whole foot for a while as we've been working our way through the tarsal bones of Anna and Z. So I thought I'd arrange them on the table for you and see, see the status of the whole foot at this point, or the, I should say the, the half foot at this point, right? Because we've been working our way through the tarsal bones here. And, and so now it's kind of the forefoot is available to us with the cuneiforms still in place. So before removing the cuneiforms, I thought, well, the feet are, I don't know if they're going to hold up together anymore. So let's just position Anna and Z next to each other. I think this is just amazing just to look at this. Um, I don't know, when I looked at their feet, they didn't look to be that radically different in size. But when I put them together now, I mean, not in length, but there's something about Z's bones having a little bit more, more uh, I don't know, thickness to them that to, to my eye makes the, his feet look bigger, even though they're not particularly longer than Anna's. Um, also, we have this very interesting feature. Now here's a toe, a big toe laying kind of straight. Uh, his toe starts to deviate a little bit here on his, on his left foot, but Anna has a major deviation of her, uh, of her big toe, the, hal the halicis, right? The halix, halicis? I don't even know what you're saying. Halix. Halix. So her big toe, she's got bunions, and that bunion you can see is a, bon is a bony formation that also distorts the car cartilaginous surface here. That's on both sides. And then you notice there's a great length to the ligament on the medial aspect, and then it's very short on the, the lateral aspect, right? And that's true on both toes. So I think that's just interesting too, just to see how the body adapted, right? Because if you look at these ligaments on, on, his, uh, on the big toe here, they're just kind of, you know, hanging out there, uh, just very typical ligament joining bone to bone here and here. We don't see any particular, you know, difference in the length of them. And so part of the, uh, so the, what I'm trying to say is that the tissue is adapted at every level, right? There's a, there's a bony difference in Anna's toe, and then there's also a ligamentous difference, right? So we're, we're very adaptive creatures. Um, also, of course, I guess I'll point out that Anna's, we've, we've known this all along since we met her on day one, that her, her uh, second toe, uh, the, the, the digit is missing. So don't know why, don't know how, but... Um, Probably to accommodate the bunion, no? Maybe, maybe to accommodate, I mean, I guess that toe could have been crowded out a bit, huh? It would have been underla underlapping it probably. And maybe that was uncomfortable or who knows what. My grandma's feet. You know, like, oh, your grandma's feet are like that? My grandma's feet were just like this too. If you look at it, just in the bones or in the, in the, in the way that they kind of lie, they, they look like a pointed uh, high-heeled shoe. Uh, <laughs> and my, my grandma's feet were exactly like this. So but now Anna's uh, feet also had the bunions. And I do want you to see that that actually quite changed not only the length of the tendons, which I pointed out a number of times when we were looking at the feet, uh, but that also that the bones are, are altered in their shape to accommodate that kind of bunion-y relationship that she had here. So here's the bunion, right? And, and here's the, uh, I got to get that right. There we go. So she had quite a uh, quite a distorted um, thing going on there in terms of the toe position. Uh, but I'll straighten them out a little bit here for posterity. Uh, and we can fix it, right? there. But then it wouldn't fit anymore, right? Because of the bony deformation, um, you couldn't just straighten out that toe. You'd have to alter the shape of the bones for the foot to have actually set like that uh, in Anna's experience. So what about these metatarsals, huh? So we can see, if we take a big view of them, that the, uh, that the first metatarsal is sort of short and stocky, right, compared to the second metatarsal. So that's kind of an easy difference to spot. And we can see that's true on Z as well. Let's have a look at Z's uh, very short and stocky metatarsals, as are Anna's. Now if I take his uh, metatarsal and Anna's metatarsal and put them together, though, we can see that uh, Z's bones are just a whole lot thicker, right? Anna's looks stockier than the rest of her metatarsals, but by comparison to Z's, 
that's quite a difference. Just look at the look at the he the heads of those metatarsals. Quite a difference, huh? Um, these is, uh, cartilage is in a little better condition, and he doesn't have bunions. So we're going to put that down there and just take note of that shape. Um, thanks, Anna. Thanks, Z. I love your feet. They're really cool. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.